Welcome back to Dead Rising 3. Let's go ahead and knock out that final mission. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I, I want to do it to that mission so bad. Like, you have no idea how much I want to give this mission a swirly. Well, you, it, it's... judging by the tone of your voice, I think a lot. Mm, yeah, it's alright. By the way, uh, these are things. As soon as you upgrade melee enough, you get some special new moves. Oh. So, uh, you know how every time you get a combo going, it says press Y and B to perform, like, a special move? That does stuff? Oh yeah, it does stuff. Depending on your weapon, it'll do something with the weapon, but these are done when you have nothing in your hands. And I'll be showing those off a bit later. Uh, I hope you don't mind that this episode kind of jumps all over the place, because we are going to be finishing up everything. Everything? Every collectible will be gotten in this. Everything will be done. Because, as I found out the hard way, back way back in the day, the next plot point is a point of no return. Oh. So we have to finish everything in this episode. Otherwise... How much time do we have before the, it uh -oh, goes away? Oh, we, uh, we've got plenty of time. Is it the white bar right there? No, that is the. Oh side god, we got a minute! Ah! Uh, oh, wait, wait, that's a, that's a <laughs> challenge. Okay. Yeah. So, so this one, I think we've seen this one before. Use electricity based, uh, electricity based uh, weapons and kill as many as you can. This is fairly easy because the uh, balcony you get it on has like three different combinations for weapons that use electricity. So very easy. And wow, level forty four. You think we'll hit fifty? Oh. Uh, I don't know at this point. Hmm. Depends depends on how long the end game goes, I guess. <sighs> well, uh, let's just say this. Every collectible will be collected by the end of this video. So, no, you don't. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to see. Uh, not saying I'm disappointed or anything, but anyway. Hey, look, a frog jacket! Yeah! Okay. So tight! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a good thing Nick is such a, like, a tiny man that he can wear all these children's clothing. <laughs> oh, 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 that actually worked. That's some hard plastic. I just can't believe they thought of that. The, like that wasn't me throwing it at the window. That was me ricocheting it off the floor, and it still broke the window. That's programming's amazing. <laughs> oh, another mission. Must do. Yeah, uh, as I said, we're going to be jumping a lot back and forth uh, between different districts, just because as soon as I do some mission somewhere, I find some more some other places, so please bear with me. But hey, look, another one using nothing but electricity-based weapons. Look how quickly this is going using Thor's hammer. Oh, I see, this This is easy programming compared to, you know, making side missions. Yeah. Because side missions, you need to have, like, story and shit. I get it, though. You did plenty of side missions and plenty of side quests already, and you had to pad the game out somehow. I understand. Mm -hmm. You had to be a launch title for for Microsoft's fancy new console. I get ya. I understand. What I think is funny is uh, when I mentioned how short this game actually is, they said, I thought it was a lot longer. And I did, too. Because of all the side stuff that you can do, but it's all optional. Well, it's also because you've been fast-forwarding for everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, another game clip. That's perfect, because we're about to go into our last Psychopath fight, at least for the uh, side mission stories. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Enjoy Envy. Man, Envy's so much better than me. I hate that. Boom! Got him. Jonah Hill? You know, it has been a while since we recorded the episode, what the hell are you doing? but this guy should look familiar. Just run along, Nick, okay? Walk away, because you seem a little intimidated by my unmistakable confidence. Actually, looks more like Lester from GTA 5. Oh, hey, without the limp. Know, I'm my name. It's gonna be called Kick. Oh my God, I'm kick we saved this guy in Chapter 2. Hey, wait a minute. Kick sounds a lot like... Oh, you know, I can also make combo weapons, too. Hey, wait a minute. I showed you how to make combo weapons. Walk in here and... Oh no, we've created a monster! Yeah! Now we, now we gotta put him down! He is saving people! He is putting them in dangerous situations and saving them because we save people! 
I'm the one. Just watch me. Anything that woman's gonna can die. Do, I can do it better. Oh, this kid. He pisses me off so much, so let's kill him. And this is the thanks we get for saving him. He tries to copy us. Copycat. So you know what? <laughs> let's call him out on it. Hey, uh, Connect, can you come in here? Copycat! Uh, Copycat! There we go. So Sorry, calling, out, calling out Copycat makes him throw his combo weapon, which leaves him semi-defenseless. Then he starts using the wrench. So that is actually very helpful. But another Whoa, thing the, that you for can... For the first time, it's helpful. Yeah, for the first time ever. But what I think is hilarious is the game actually tells you if you make combo weapons in front of Kenny, he gets jealous and makes his own. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hilarious fight. <laughs> So I figured we should bring the most hilarious combo weapon to kill him with. Never mind, this is a, this is a follow-up to Lesser the Unlikely. <laughs> the one where he snaps instead of trying to be a, a hero on an island. By the way, his combo weapon is actually really good. It is both a close range and a ranged weapon, because that junk ball is shooting sharp objects at me. Yeah, but his fingers are all mashed up because he doesn't know engineering as well as we do. <laughs> I would love it if he's just doing self-mutilation in order to, you know, own the the liberal Nick Ramos. Oh, uh, another thing. If you try to save the survivor, he will actually go and attack you. If zombies try to attack the survivor, he will go save her. So, he is still trying to be the hero while also fighting me, the superior person. And now he's infected by zombies. Uh-huh, zombies are attacking him. But, uh, you know, l let's go ahead and, uh, uh, get at his ego. Let's make a combo weapon in front of him and see what it does. Check what I can do. Fucking magic! <laughs> I lit gloves on fire. What are you gonna do about that, Kenny? You he what? Oh, no! He throws the junk ball, goes to save the survivor, and then eventually he will try to make another junk ball, which is his stun animation. So... A good idea. I like this one, even though I, yeah. I want to punch this kid so bad. This is a pretty good boss, yeah. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. I missed it. Ow! Oh, that was on my head, you asshole! <laughs> oh, but, uh, there's, a, there's a fun little uh, fun little thing I realized when doing this fight. Is, uh... We're out in the open. You know what that means? Airstrike. Let's just say this is the first psychopath fight before I knew smart glass could be used that's been outdoors. So I think I I, I think airstrike. you have the perfect idea. Why don't airstrike. we call it a motherfucking airstrike on Kenny? Yeah, dude. This is what you what get. The fuck? This yeah. is what you get for fucking copying me. You can't <laughs> call it airstrikes. I can. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Yeah! yeah, the survivor's absolutely fine. This is mainly just to clear out the zombies. But what's hilarious is the gun strike! If you use a gun strike against him, it only targets no! Kenny. <laughs> like, it'll kill zombies every now and again, but it mainly targets him. Because oh, it goes for the biggest threat. So he has been destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> and he's still going. He's unstoppable. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of meat on that boy. So I think we're gonna have to like god weapon him just to show him a lesson. Crappy cat. Got him. <laughs> you, know, you know what, Nick? I'm gonna take it easy on you. Cause you like, that like look you on Nick's face break. says it all. Uh, 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 hey, maybe maybe you need a maybe you need a sidekick. Yeah, I'm gonna kick you in the side. There's only one kick I know of, and he's a skunk who sells shoes. Well, what should we do? Should we save him, or should we let him die? Well, if we save him, he's just gonna betray us again, because he's a insufferable narcissist. Well, how about we rough him up a bit, but I think he's learned his lesson. Fine. That doesn't mean we won't show every scenario. Oh, I'm waiting for the one where you kill him. 
All right, yeah, you're great. You saved him and all that. Can you fucking let me down now? <laughs> there you go. All right, these are our final survivors. We did it. Thank you. I admit it. I needed my ass. And Regina has joined. That's everything. Yay. And you know what, Kenny? I kind of feel bad for beating you up. So uh, how about a celebratory drink? Have a randomizer. Uh, what does a randomizer do again? Oh, right. <laughs> Get own nerd. Okay. Now he's learned his lesson. Yeah. Make your own shit, jackass. He hasn't learned his lesson enough, so let's rough him up in different timelines. As I said, if you bring a flare gun, this is actually the easiest way to get free hits on him. Because zombies will be attracted to the flare, they go into the radius of the survivor, and then he oh. has to go and save them. Oh. So, free hits, but you have to put the survivor's life in jeopardy. Now, uh, something else kind of funny, in a different timeline, he killed the zombies. So, he didn't fucking uh, need me. He killed see, them all himself. Uh, I'm good. But now, what you really want to see... What happens if he just dies? That's it. He just dies. Still worth it. Yeah, still worth it. But uh, another interesting part about Kenny is he is one of the only survivors to defect against Nick. The other survivor is Big D, if you remember him. But if, yeah. you, if you rough him up before talking to him, he defects. So in order to keep him as a survivor, you have to talk to him, and then he becomes a survivor. But other than that, he just tries to kill you. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do him a favor. I told you he'd betray us again. This is what you get for defecting, loser. But probably the funniest thing is, after he becomes a survivor, he's invincible. And no matter what we do to him, he will not defect. So, you know, teach him a lesson again. What? Just some light hazing? <laughs> now, I thought this was funny. This is a small detail I heard from the Discord. If Nick throws up in front of a survivor... <laughs> they laugh at you. And I thought, you know what? Joke's on you. Let's see what happens when you get drunk. The exact same thing. So you can still get survivors drunk in this game, as you could in 2. Nick laughs at the inside. So, yeah, there's a there's fun little details all over the place. I love the fact that you can just wail on Kenny infinitely as soon as he becomes a survivor. There's a dead woman in front of him, and he's like, huh, this building needs to be judged up a little bit. Again, I still think that Nick is the one coming up with all these puns. So, if anything, he'd be a, a good... a good spokesperson for this Let's Play. It shows how much of a cold, heartless monster he is in the face of unending human tragedy. Oh, come on! He's the good guy, don't you know? He's dead inside. <laughs> At this point, yeah. He had to save Kenny, of all people. So, uh, now I want to talk to... talk to you about something. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no! 24 out of 25. There are only 24 survivors in the main game. Oh. So, what does this mean? That means that number 25 is plot important. It means that Capcom fucked up again. Oh, come on! There are original screenshots of pre-patch Dead Rising 3 where there were only 24 survivors. They patched the game to add in another survivor that was DLC exclusive, but they never added the fucker in. So there is now infinitely 24 out of 25 for 100% completion. And there's been a few stories going around that it's supposed to be a DLC character. Uh, somebody from the diner from the beginning of the game was supposed to go in that slot. Hell, the guy who was giving us free guns. There was a rumor we were supposed to save him. But no, Capcom just didn't put them in the fucking game. <laughs> so... <sighs> There will infinitely be an empty space. You know, if they was <laughs> six more months, would have maybe would have been nice on this. You know. And and this game still has plenty of good spit and polish, but that is like the biggest oversight, and that happened after the game was released. So what did they learn? Let's make the next game even faster. Oh, God, and you know what? Ever since I got the DLC, uh, if you download the DLC there will start to be inconsistencies in your numbers. 
Like, if you get all the, um, all the DLC stories, for example, there are five new combo weapons that are added to the game, and they are added to your final total. But if you are playing the main game, they still show up in that total, even though you can't make them. So what does DLC stand for? Don't lose count. And I hate it because it, it's been confusing me. I keep trying to look at my numbers, make sure I'm not missing anything. And I see, oh yeah, you're uh, you're missing five combo weapons. Excuse me? Oh, DLC. Okay, you're missing one survivor. Excuse me? Oh, DLC that never happened? Great. Oh, shit. <laughs> Through the remote. Oh, it's back. It's back. <laughs> ah! I'll right. throw my remote, jackass. Fuck the helicopters, I hate them. They're terrible weapons. Because I don't know how to use them. <laughs> That's how it goes. It's like, here, let me stand here defenseless while a drone does everything for me, and I'm defenseless here. And, you know, I also didn't understand that you had to walk away from the item you're using just to use uh, very wonk and jank controls. So we'll go ahead and ignore those copters. We got them all, by the way. That was the last copter. Like the hell no copter. I was trying to come up with something else, but I couldn't. Something about get to the chopper, that wouldn't have been interesting. Maybe I'll just make helicopter sound effects. Well, where's your helicopter sounds? Oh, those will be put in post. <laughs> there we go. Another Frank statue. 68 out of 70. Oh, it's going to be great when all of those are gone. And looky over there. Hey, hey there's, there's mm. one. All right. Let's get them. These are the last collectibles, a uh, couple of the last collectibles, in this area. Level 45! Wow! We're gonna, uh, get this last Frank statue from, like, a mysterious phone call. It's like, hey, kid, come on down to the, to the, the cafe west of the North Street. I, I got something for you. I've covered I wards, wish. you know. That would be so cool. And, and then you're like, oh, oh my god, can it be? And then you run to the cafe, and then he's not there, but the last one is there. And like a letter saying, hey, you did good, kid. Here's a little oh. something from me to you. And it's like an infinite reusable chainsaw or something. <gasps> that would be so cool. That is so much cooler than the actual end result. Dead Rising 5, because then it would be, it'd be perfect canon-wise, because <laughs> is he dead? Is he not? Is he oh, still a zombie? My god. Can it be? Can it be? Whoa! <laughs> That'd be so cool! And, and, you know, they they give you a little, like, wink-wink, nudge-nudge. Speak fuck these zombies! I just want to use the new combo weapon I, I got! I just want to sit in my anyway. hot dog chair! Yeah, give me the hot dog chair! Come on! It's a new combo weapon I thought of! Yeah, the... So, I said it a couple episodes ago that there are specific zombies that only Jeez. show up in specific yeah. districts. Oh. In the last chapter, they all show up in every district. So I've got football players in places where I shouldn't be dealing with them. And they're the most fucking annoying enemy. Get out of my way! Alright. Anyway. I love how the game does a wink-wink, nudge-nudge, and bringing back Isabella. That's, like, a really good plot point. I'm like, hey, yeah. Unresolved. Oh, duck! So, it got me curious when I was playing through this. Like, who else could they bring in? Could they bring in Frank? Could they bring in Chuck? Who could they bring in? <sighs> well... What I'm saying is, I really liked your idea. So we, could, we, we could make the Dead Rising 5 so much better. We could bring be back so this good. franchise. Oh, That's it! So yeah! That's the last speaker! We did it, boys! We've ruined bigotry forever. <laughs> so, destroying every speaker gets you a huge 80,000 prestige point bonus. Feels good. Alright, what next? Uh... Really uh, cleaning up this city. I remember there were so many buttons and so many icons in here, and now it looks so clean. And empty. Yeah. It's kinda... kinda unnerving. That is the best feeling where I've been going through this Let's Play, just basically throwing caution to the wind. Whatever happens, happens. 
I didn't expect it would be a hundred, uh, 100% run, because 20 episodes in, I looked at how many collectibles we had left on the map, and I'm going, wow, this is doable. This is all just uh, another one of those uh, biting satirical commentaries on consumerism. It's like, look at you, you filthy American swine. There was a map that was full of resources and go and goodness here, but you just had to keep on taking. You had take, to get take, them take. all. That's all you could do. Get them all until it's nothing but a husk from your <laughs> over-consuming ways, you pig. Level forty-six, dude. And you just get you just get bigger and fatter bigger and, and larger. Bigger. You keep eating Hell and taking. Yeah. There's one more combo weapon in this city, and this place is cleared out, my friend. <laughs> and it's all the way in Felicia. I don't know why I didn't think to go in the fucking store. I thought it was on the roof. Well, we have no reason to be here, but now we do. A helmet! The helmet bomb! That's just a bomb! <laughs> it's a cartoon bomb! And you make it by doing an afro with a stick of dynamite. Makes perfect sense. Oh, God. It's going to blow up and smell like burning hair. Yeah. Here we go. Let's make the burning hair weapon the helmet bomb. <laughs> oh. This is hilarious. You only get one. But there we go. Boom. Oh. Yeah, it's a, pretty, like a it, it's a pretty meaty explosion, I got to say. So take it into a crowd. It's hilarious. Uh, I don't know, I think that shirt's pretty unisex. It's pretty close, but this technically is a women's clothing store, an accessory store. Because of the inclusion of everybody's favorite, the cocktail dress. Oh, you coward. I've already worn it. I've worn so many pieces of women's clothing. And complete! Look at that! Yeah! Look at that completion. Now we need to complete everything over here. Do a nice simple crossfade. There we go. Gee, I wonder what this one is out on the highway with plenty of cars. Hmm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I do like these trials. They have, like, just a little bit for you to do. Like, 150 kills, that's nothing, especially on the last day. Oh, this, yeah, really. This is primarily why I waited this long, is because there are so many zombies, it's really easy to kill a lot of them. This is how you get to level 50. Ah, uh, well, it's it's climbing. You take a look at that bar, it's constantly climbing. At least in one playthrough, this is how you do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's this? Using nothing but combo vehicles? Hell yeah! G get off! Alright, here we go! Get using, run over by my... Using nothing but combo vehicles, here we go. 150 kills, easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna blow through the rest of these, and it's 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 ridiculous how quickly these went. <laughs> like I thought I was gonna be at this for a while. Nah. You're at such a high level at this point as well. It's probably be easy to do anyway. So the next one that we have to do, uh, pretty close by. This one is actually really funny. Ah. Uh -huh. Motor oil and a crossbow. Uh, crossbow. Using nothing but fire-based weaponry. Fire okay. weapons. You have to use the fire arrows in a fireworks oh, store God. to kill everything. Oh, no. So, yeah, this is fairly simple. Again, the last day, there's just hordes outside regular stores. There we go. We did it. I win! I win! The neat thing about electricity and fire-based weapons... If you light one zombie on fire and it touches another zombie, that one catches on fire. Same with electricity. And now, I can't remember which one we do next. But there's another gold to add to the repertoire, and level 47! It's just getting, getting up there. Ooh, Damn. and it's going, it's going up fast. You got 14 points to spend! <laughs> I can't wait to spend that, it's gonna be like Christmas. Do you even have enough slots? Hmm, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Do you gonna have any left over? Hmm, maybe. We'll see. Mm. So, I could have sworn that the 
the penetrator, or whatever this is called, excuse me, would work as a firearm. It is technically not a firearm. It's not a gun. It's a novelty item. I know, but I, it looks like a gun. I'm shooting dildos at people. I thought that cat classified as a gun. You're shooting bullets. <laughs> God. Millions upon millions with every shot. Oh, and, uh... I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not going for golds. I'm going for completing them once. It's 100% completion, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at this. The ultimate Grim Reaper. We have not made this yet. When did they die in Danganronpa? <laughs> the Death Scythe student. It's perfect. Uh, <laughs> this thing is another god weapon. The idea for Dead Rising 5, bring in the supernatural bullshit. Maybe that's the secret, uh, cutscene, or, uh, secret side story ending. Oh, God. Can you predict the future? Meaning a- What? Can you predict the future of what this weapon actually is capable of? Summoning the devil? It was a god weapon. What do you mean? The ultimate Grim Reaper is one of the best weapons in the game. And I'll be showing an example of why it is the best. The ultimate shout? That's an amazing god weapon. You can clear out so many things. In fact, let me show you how quickly you can clear things out. We've technically already done this, but because of a few recording mishaps, I had to redo a chapter, the one that we actually did this mission in. So, this is an example of how strong we have gotten since the beginning of the game. Slaughter as many zombies as possible. 75 kills? Fuck that. Check it. We are going to use the ultimate shout three times. One. Whoa. Bronze. Two. Whoa. Silver. Three. Gold. <laughs> this thing is a monster. <laughs> and it, it gets fucking better. <sighs> and uh, it's, it's actually very fitting that um, the uh, ultimate Grim Reaper is something we got in this district. Let me show you how powerful it is. But first, we need to do one more side mission. This one is actually on the roof of the barber shop, so we need to do a little bit of platforming to get in there. Such as go through the apartment complex to get up here. We're actually going to use the split shot. I really like this weapon. All told. And this one is, go figure, a firearms challenge. Great. Yo. Ingleton has probably one of the best zombie hotspots ever. In front of the first save point, there are so many zombies over there, it is actually rendering all of them. The power of the Xbox One! Look at all these motherfuckers! <laughs> Bronze. Silver. And just a little bit more fun. We're gonna get that gold. Level 48. Jeez. Alright, so I was thinking, you know what? There's a lot of zombies here. Let's test out the ultimate Grim Reaper and its power. The heavy attack shoots flaming skulls! Oh my <laughs> Look how many experience points we're getting! Also, look at the amount in the weapon! Notice how it's going Jeez. up and down! The god weapon part of this Grim Reaper, it is it's stealing souls from the zombies you kill! It is recharging with every kill! Oh my god... You wanted to go supernatural? This is about as good as you're gonna get! Look, look at the experience bar! I've been doing this for like 30 seconds! But the government's making a bioweapon! I went up a level in 45 seconds! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate Grim Reaper is so fucking overpowered, there's a reason they have you find it last! Oh it's man, they, they, they put Sinistar into a scythe! <laughs> it's so, such a good weapon! And the fact that it recharges it's with every- It's automatically recharging! Does it, does it recharge in the in the menu? It recharges with kills. So zombies you light on fire with those skulls, they're still dying in the background. That's oh why you're getting souls back. Oh, oh god. Now, it, it does have a downfall. It, there's only a specific number of souls you can steal per, uh, per shot. So I guess you could say. it's not an infinite weapon. It's not an infinite weapon, and it does eventually break, so God does bleed. <laughs> no, it just decides to leave your presence. <laughs> it gets bored with you, you mortal. Alright, let's spend these points. There we go. Max agility, so now we can crowd swim in zombies. 
Combo crafting speed is now instantaneous. We now have piercing oh, bullets. Oh, we're close. One more level and we get to see what Nick can become in the end result. And look at that, using only your fists. Well, this should be a little easier. A little easier. We're still not in t a territory where we're killing zombies with just a couple punches, but we can at least hold our own now. We can at least clear crowds, and using the uh, special moves, we can get more kills. That was one of the new special moves we unlocked. All right. Nice. I, I saw that you got disemboweled. I'm going to have to see that at some point. Oh, don't worry. We're good. <laughs> I tried to show everything, and that's... Damn it, I'm going to do it. Uh, let's see. Let's show off the ultimate Grim Reaper again some more. Here's a big old crowd. Watch the number. <sighs> it is trying its best to go to zero, but it can't because of how much death is happening. <laughs> it is that fucking good. It's actually recharging. Because zombies are dying due to the fire. And I'm getting my ass kicked. I need to get out of here. So, uh, oh, uh-oh. Uh, the Reaper will take your soul, me. too, if you're not careful, Nick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's just Jesus. scream and something blows the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, these god weapons are some of the most fun you can have in this game. Um... Uh, one of the districts, uh, South Almuda, I think, gave you the elemental staff, so that's, that's your god weapon right there. Uh, you've got the ultimate shout, and... Oh, Jesus! It moved oh. the van I was sitting on! And, uh, 296 combo. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed it up. I was trying to use a, a special move. Imagine using the ultimate shout as a horn or a siren. Sound the air horn. We did it. But, uh, yeah, that is three, three ultimate weapons, and, uh, there's one more, but we can't make it yet. We actually have to wait until, uh, a bonus video in order to make it. Please tell me you're gonna make another one of these fucking things. I, I, th I think I'm a bit overpowered. <laughs> Just a little bit. But, uh, I, I did want one of the final episodes where we could do just a lot of goofing off stuff to show off the ultimate power of these god weapons. And uh, that, that, they're that's silver. About, that's about where the price of admission as it is. Damn. And the thing is, you can find this close to the beginning of the game. Because you're not really restricted to where you can go to get the sides. So, go nuts. It's so much fun. But you can technically do this in Bloodborne, so uh, PS4 still wins. <laughs> oh, the allegiance never dies. <laughs> and three, two, one, my friend, level 50. Yes, oh, it looks like you're still going, too. So the way level 50 works is you still gain experience points, and it'll level up that bar up there. And every time you, quote-unquote, level up, you get five more attribute points. Hmm. Did you get those extra things at the end? Yep. So they thought that uh, people won't be able to upgrade everything by the end of the game. Let's make it to where, yeah, they can still do that. We'll still give them experience points for goofing off. Or, in my case, if they're still doing a bit of the uh, side missions here. Oh my god, a motorcycle started outside my apartment. I thought it was actually the game audio. <laughs> oh, the game's becoming reality! No! Oh, sweet. That means I get an ultimate Grim Reaper, right? As long as I get the ultimate shout. Oh, that'll work. Actually, that's... Hmm. I was about to say that's more fitting to our personas in general, but... I don't, I don't know if I want to become the, uh... The embodiment of evil and death. The ultimate Grim Reaper sounds like a weapon you get in Persona, so you've earned it. Ah, there we go. And the ultimate shout? My man. <laughs> I'm gonna get those stains out, no problem. <laughs> Clean! <laughs> oh, my shirt, it's so white. <laughs> wow, look at it. <laughs> this was purple when I bought it, wow. Good job, ultimate shout. 
thanks! My cousin doesn't look so garish in her dress suit now! <laughs> I don't think I need to reiterate how good the elemental staff actually is. Having three different elements, the, th the fact that you can actually shoot each element and it causes different effects for multiple zombies in a row. It's ridiculous how good this weapon actually is, and you can get it in this district. Oh, sorry, the, um... Oh, shit, where is it? It's one of the districts. It's fine, it's somewhere in the game. God weapon for one of the districts. And, uh, 75 kills, child's play. Let's see how many kills I can actually get for one of these <laughs> final ones. Child's play. Oh, it totally is. There, we got the gold. 30 seconds left, are you kidding me? Over 200. Can we go even farther? How much Make can we get in those 30 seconds? Challenge. Over 300! Can we do more? <laughs> well, that combo's still going, so let's do some of our new moves. And pop the head off. <laughs> let's see, we need to keep a combo going, so... Oh, there we go. Y and B is back. Still keeping that combo going. How big can it go? 343? That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Keep it going. All right. Nick boy, uh, Nick Ramos went from, uh, Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna survive in the zombie apocalypse to... I am inevitable. <laughs> there we go. Nice disembowelment. Yes. That was someone's father. And now he's got no guts to bear. All right, so here's the regular. This is what happens when you don't press a direction. Uh, the disembowelment, I think it's pressing down and Y and B. Uh, here's the swing. I love this one. It clears out so many of them. And, uh, you also have the head pot. This one. <laughs> he used to be such a good boy, now he's just roaming in violence. In a whole week of non-stop murder will probably do stuff to a guy. It turns him into the true psychopath. Ah, uh, well, we have one more tragic ending to get. <laughs> Nix. <laughs> and I had no idea this was here. Back in episode four, we fought the leader of the biker gang. And he was hiding a tragic ending. Oh, I told you. He just misses his friends. All the way back here in the corner. Here we go. This guy. He's... Oh, wow. It looks like he drowned his sorrows. He drank himself to death. Nah, I went ahead and put formaldehyde in his vodka. This is so <sighs> ah, that's oh. everything. Oh, what's the matter? No, uh... No witty one-liner from Nick there? Wait for it. Last call. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I get it, because it's the last one, too. <laughs> Alright, now that we've cleaned up a lot of collectibles... I'm missing two vehicles. Or, sorry, two combo vehicles. Let's fix that. Uh, in order to do this... Ah! Oh, excuse me. There. Yeah, away yourself. In order to do this last one, it is the junk truck. That is the only one I have not made. So, van and an SUV. Oh, a van. Oh, and we can do multiple vehicles? Sweet, van and an SUV. Oh. Magic garage. That is so convenient. Like, I thought I was going to have to go out and hunt these vehicles down. Nah. Dead Rising's got my back. Nah, dude. Have fun. But but I don't want to have fun. I just want to complete things. Yeah, we're going to make sure you have fun while completing things. We got oh. you, man. Here's the job. Did you see how fast that was? <laughs> what did you do to those cars? Just, just mash them together. So, uh, the junk truck shoots missiles. And it does the same thing as the other junk vehicles when you press, uh, heavy attack. You jump out and it becomes a suicide car. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Let's oh. find out the perks of getting level 50. Alright, let's... Ooh. Full life regeneration and two more life cubes. All you have to do is stand there and you regain health. What the hell? The mobile locker blueprint. You make a walking locker that you can oh, access at any time. No. Double plus melee durability and damage? Gee. 
Double plus ammo and damage? Indestructible, Indestructible vehicle. vehicles? Are you kidding me? So what's next? Agility. Unlimited sprint. You will never run out of sprint. And equip all books at the same time. What? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. You become a god. I don't know where to start. They give you some of the best rewards for hitting level 50. They reward you for hitting that milestone. But only less than 8% of the people <laughs> who own Xbox One in this game manage to do it. <laughs> Fuck. Mobile locker, we need that. So here we go. Boom. We can make the last combo vehicle. We can make an ultimate Grim Reaper whatever we want. Uh-huh. It'll be right there, in a car that we can take with us. Equip all books at the same time. They're not kidding. If you have the two pre-order bonus books, those are also equipped to you at all times. Oh, so we geez. have every single effect on us at the same time. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know what all the effects are. Woo. Oh, jeez. I need a break. Let me drink some water here. Oh, okay. Next got three of the seven infinity stones. And uh, you, uh, by the end, we're going to have them all. Reality can be whatever I want it to be. <laughs> As he holds two, it holds ten books in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even need a gauntlet. He just has like a, an infinite back pocket that he can put this stuff in. Oh, um, uh, for those of you having trouble, just in case this did not work, there is another glitch, unfortunately, with the smarts category. Sometimes smarts does not work, even when you upgrade. So, what is suggested for that to not bug up? Um, you know how I've been going in and getting multiple, um, uh, just multiple categories being upgraded at the same time? Mm-hmm. What the what a lot of guides suggest is only upgrade smarts at one time. So go in, upgrade smarts, and then leave, and then come back and upgrade some more things, and that cuts down on the bug. Ta-da! We did it. We now have created every combo vehicle, and now we have a mobile locker. Well. Oh. When I was putting this together and I realized that the last 10 minutes were absolute hype, I was like, how could it get any better? <laughs> Motherfucker, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better? Oh, absolutely. We haven't gotten everything yet. It's like for level 50. We need to upgrade that shit. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Here is the final prestige point trial. This is it. And mm. what do they end on? Fisticuffs. Oh. Let's see how strong Nick got. We are now killing things in two punches. Two punch man! This is fantastic. None of these zombies stand a chance. You can use kicks. You are getting a lot more prestige points for using this, this ultimate melee. I almost got a gold on a fist challenge. That never happens. Yeah, Two Punch Man. He's like the German uh, One Punch Man, the German version. <laughs> Instead of Saitama, it's uh, Zweitama. Zweitama, yes. Wait for it. I'm you out. Uh. There you are. That is notification that we have done all 25. You, you join an elite club there, man. <sighs> all right. Shake it off, man. Shake it off. So we have a little bit left to do before we hit that point of no return. Let's see how high we can get a combo going. Oh lord. <laughs> it just it just keeps going. It keeps getting higher. <laughs> Six seven It just it just keeps going. And this is how I grinded. By the way, I needed to grind like two more levels. It took th three minutes to grind two levels. Yeah, they call it the shout. It's more like the Swiffer at this point. Yeah, look at this. L look at the XP bar. Every time, <laughs> every time I shout, it goes so much higher. Four hundred and fifty-eight. 
and that was just in one area. <laughs> that is more rendered zombies than Dead Rising 1 combined. <laughs> I went up two levels in like a minute and a half. <laughs> it's still going! <laughs> Look how much power I have! 600! <laughs> and just Jeez. to grind a few more experience points! Jesus Christ! 614! 615! Can we do more? 623! <laughs> yes! Destruction, baby! I, just, I, I love this game so much! And it rewards me for loving it back! Oh. Over 600 kill combo! Jesus Christ. So, fuck it! I've done enough grinding, it only took like five minutes. Let's get everything. Unlimited sprint. Uh, what do we want next? Uh, extra melee. Now we are absolute dominating everything. Now we're one and a half punch, man. There's... Uh, we can get all the combo categories. Let's see, one more grinding session probably? Two more, maybe? We can get yeah. those others by being before the end of this, I'm sure. Yeah, in fact, we're doing it now. Let's One, do it! One, two, three. Now we can combine so many random objects to get some of the best combo weapons. We now have double plus range weapon, ammo, and damage. And now, vehicles will not explode as long as Nick is inside them. Fully upgraded, level 50! There's one more attribute that you can unlock. It's basically rearranging the atoms of things to make whatever you want. Oh, we are, we are a god right now. And I get to show you how much of a god we are in the end game. Nick? His hair is glowing blue, his eyes are glowing white with pure energy. <laughs> Rana, you must go to Gary. <laughs> <laughs> All of that just to go to Rhonda. And we still have an ending to show. This is what happens when you, uh, if you don't go to the karaoke bar. So let's say you start the chapter, uh, get out of the subway, and come straight here. No plot movement, no nothing, if you go straight back to the plane. Get the fuck out of here. What happens if you go up to the plane? What's that? Screw <laughs> everyone, time to leave. Time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, we're doing that, let's go! <laughs> I worked hard to get this plane, nobody did anything! Later, bitches. <laughs> He's wearing the douchiest jacket for it, too. The perfect <laughs> ending doesn't exist. Oh, wait. Yes, it does in Dead Rising 3. <laughs> You know, I'd argue that that's the worst fucking ending, because not only do you oh still get God. hit by the bomb, you've been disgraced. <laughs> this, is the f this is the first time I've seen this ending, by the way, when I was recording it. I lost because my you're shit. you're not a bad person! <laughs> it's... <laughs> when he said later, bitches, I couldn't anymore. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God! <laughs> oh no! Oh, like... <laughs> this is the one that references Carlito? Yeah. I'm going to take the pain for myself. Ah, shit! <laughs> Ending D. That's how you get it. And that... Well, what a perfect note to end on, because uh, the next two episodes, which is the end of the game... D for dickhead. Oh, God. We only have two more episodes, and can you believe it can get better? You know, like... I think I can. <laughs> I think I can. I'm going to believe, <laughs> like I should have done when this game first came out. Oh, same here. I, I'm such a sinner. I didn't try Dead Rising 3 first, and now I'm paying for it by having one of the best fucking experiences with the series to date. Well, consider us enlightened, for we have finally seen the truth, and now everything is clear. <sighs> But keep in mind, this is still a serious fucking game. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yes, yes, of course. You know, you know, Frank is back in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I love this game so much.